Okay, good morning everyone. Uh, we're out camping. Uh, we're in the Sierra National Forest at a place called Bald Mountain Base Camp. We came in yesterday and got all set up. So I'm going to show you around and uh, show you a few things. I haven't gone through the, the RV and we'll look at the inside and the Jeep kind of as a introduction. Okay, I got the Jeep off the trailer. It's the 1992 uh, Wrangler YJ with a few modifications. <laughs> so that's my uh, Jeep. So I have an 05 TJ that I'm working on that'll look similar. So we're here in base camp as I said earlier uh, for the High CR Poker Run Cal Four Wheel uh, Central District event. Base camp is in the Sierra National Forest. Uh, we're in the High Sierra Ranger District. A lot of the good trails around here, Bald Mountain, is where we're located now, but within close distance is the Ducey Ursum Trail, Swamp Lake Trail, Mirror Lake Trail, Coyote, Red, Strawberry, uh, West Lake, Brewer Lake, all those trails. A lot of fun. We have a lot of trails here. So here's the motorhome all set up. We have some people coming. We'll get them on the video later. Flag, no wind right now. And the trailer, just leave it hooked up. It's easy to get the Jeep off of the angle we are. Here, we aren't in the most level spot, but the leveling system helped took care of that quite easily. Let's do a little walk around here. And this is my 1998 Monaco Windsor with the one slide out. I also have direct TV, satellite TV. Go inside and uh, look at a few things. There's TJ. TJ's my little Chihuahua. She gets to come because she gets has to take medicine every day. Say hi, TJ. Let the camera catch up with the lighting there. So this is the interior. A few things we've done in here. We got rid of the curtains that went around and put in shades and balances that matched. We have a 40 inch TV, ultra high definition with a Blu-ray player and direct TV satellite. Also in here you'll notice there's no more. We got rid of most of the gold fixtures. Changed them out. The thing I did also was got uh, this Thomas Paine recliners. Very, very comfortable. Uh, we'll remain 
to see how they hold up, but should hold up well. Two at the windows here. Upgrades, we added the window sills, so took off the other and put in, changed the blinds to these uh, room darkening blinds. Uh, got those at Lowe's, had them cut to fit. Work out real well. And there's uh, these fixtures, I kind of liked them, so we just repainted them. And, uh, there we go. The lighting's changing a little. So all the fixtures, we painted them or replaced them, all the knobs. One other thing we did on the slide out frame here, it had cloth, so I replaced that with some wood panels I made. And you'll see here we have the backsplash, took away the mirrors and put on this self-adhesive backsplash. I think that came out really nice. And we had to replace the convection microwave oven. Same model that it had, but this one stainless steel. And all the drawers, if you saw my earlier video, video have um, new glides and uh, a latch so they stay in when we're traveling. Still have the Norcold refrigerator. It was uh, recalled in the um, cooling unit replaced last year, so it's essentially new. We also have the fridge defend system installed on it for uh, safety reasons. That works very well. Uh, we have temperature monitor here. We're at six degrees in the freezer and 29 degrees in the refrigerator. Moving on to the bathroom here. We've changed out all the gold fixtures in here as well. Turn on the light and added this similar black splash. The gold still remains on the uh, shower but we redid the uh, faucet, the drain, so on. In the bedroom, not a lot of changes, just the, the window sill and the uh, light fixtures. We added a USB charging port right there in the corner. And of course, the another Ultra 4 TV in here from Samsung. bathroom here we did redo the flooring it had tile but we had a leak in the toilet and they became loose so we redid that all the flooring with the vinyl tile here in the bathroom we've changed out the fixtures as well and the toilet is up on this little stand where it was leaking was the seal they have on the base. So that's an item I feel is a normal maintenance thing. So we did put a kit in the toilet and fix that leak. Had to replace the subfloor in the water closet there. These cabinets too, we've had some shelving which makes it nice for the uh, linen storage. Down here, we used to have a washer, but it didn't have it when I got it, so we also added shelving in there to, for storage. So that's about it. We've recovered these chairs, um, matching fabric, so pretty happy with the 
motorhome. Oh, one last thing. The, uh, these come with a large fan, a ventilation fan, but they don't often come with the cover because it was plastic and sometimes. So I made this matching wood one. Just slide this out. And there's the fan. And the way it's made, it just kind of stays in there. You have to give it a little push to get it in. That holds it in. So I um, also made one for a gentleman in Florida that saw it on our group on Facebook. There's a Monaco owners group. Um, a lot of good ideas, a lot of technical information. So really enjoy that, uh, that group. Also, we replaced the backup camera with a color one tire and pressure monitoring system and the iPad I keep there for the uh, navigation. So that's about it for my 98 Monaco Windsor interior upgrades. So TJ's here says we'll see you again soon.